DaVinci Resolve can be used for audio editing, and it can work better than Audacity. Let me show you how to use DaVinci Resolve to edit only audio files like Audacity. After opening DaVinci Resolve, you will see this screen showing your existing projects. If you have no project, you will only see the untitled project and click on it. You may become overwhelmed seeing this interface, but do not worry. This interface is a lot easier to use once you know it. It is not as complex as it looks at first. Your first task is to import the audio files for editing. There are several ways to import in DaVinci Resolve. You just have to keep an eye on this media pool icon. Media pool is the area where you can import your files just by dragging and dropping. In different screens of DaVinci Resolve, the media pool appears in a different location. We are on the cut screen which you can see at the bottom. If I move to the media screen, you will see the media pool is in a different location. On the edit screen, once again media pool is in another location. If you do not see the media pool, toggle this media pool icon under the menu. You can import files by dragging and dropping or go to the files, then import. There are several things you can import, and we are interested in media. Audio files or videos or images fall into the category of media. I have several audio files here, and I will import track 1. It is imported and I have to take this to the timeline. Notice you have to be on the edit screen to take the audio in the timeline. As you drag the audio file into the timeline, you will see two sections. One is for the video denoted by V, and another one is for audio denoted by A. As this is only an audio file, drop it in the audio section. Our audio file is ready for editing in DaVinci Resolve. To add effects like noise reduction or EQ, you have to go to this Fairlight tab. Fairlight is the actual engine behind audio editing in DaVinci Resolve. Fairlight provides lots of free effects, and you can see those from this effects tab. Effects like Deesser or Dehummer are available through paid plugins in some software. In DaVinci Resolve these and many more effects are free, and it is worth as a fully-fledged audio editor. There are a couple of ways to add effects to the audio. You can drag and drop any effects you see here like this noise reduction. A pop-up will appear with all the necessary settings for that effect. You can enable or disable any effect from this toggle switch. If you are familiar with noise reduction of other software, you will understand what these controls do. I will make another video explaining these controls, but you can test with auto speech mode. Then adjust these controls to see how much noise reduction you are achieving. You can find effects like equalization here. If you turn off the EQ, it will become gray. Here you see two things. A one is the audio track in the timeline and bus one is the combined output of all the tracks. If I had added more than one track in the timeline, I could add common effects to all the tracks through bus one. To keep this video simple, I will only use one track. You can also add some more effects from this plus icon. When you mouse hover through the effects, you will see from which engine the effects are coming from. Besides Fairlight, you can also see some AU effects which are Apple specific. You do not need to worry as long as you get Fairlight effects. You have to remember a special thing. If you use this online setup for practice, you can play and pause the audio by pressing the spacebar. When audio is played, you will see the output meter in different places. Here you see the output meter of track 1. Before exporting the audio file, you can check if this meter is hitting the correct level. When you are done with audio editing, it's time to export the audio. To export audio, click on the Deliver tab. As we are working with only audio, uncheck this Export Video option. From Audio choose the audio format, I will choose Wave. I will also set the output track as the timeline track. I have only one track, so I am choosing this option. After the options are set, click on Add to Render Queue. You will be asked where to save the file and the name of the file. Once you set those, your render queue is ready. It is possible to add multiple items to the render queue. Click on Render All and the actual file generation process will start. After the render is completed, check the location and you will see the file there. You can now use the audio file in your project. So these are the steps to use DaVinci Resolve as an standalone audio editor.
I will make some detailed videos on different audio effects of DaVinci Resolve and see you there. Thanks for watching this video and let me know what effects you want to see.